I love building in Minecraft, and I also love Japanese culture, and so I was curious what would happen if I took the two and merged them together into a massive Japan-inspired city map. In this video, I'll show you the process of building for 2,000 days in Minecraft to make my own little slice of Japan. Was I able to finish this massive project in 2,000 Minecraft days? No. No, I was not. But <laughs> I'd love to make a part two to this video when it's finished. So let me know if you'd like to see that by liking this video and subscribing if you're new. I genuinely think I'm way closer to finishing this now, but without further ado, let's get started. I started with a blank slate, podcasts to listen to, and a lot of mods. I actually streamed a lot of making this map, and that's the footage I'll be showing in this video. Sadly, I don't have footage of day one, but I hope you enjoy this dramatic reenactment. First thing I did was outline some roads, started construction on a school, some houses, and a train station. Yeah, let's show you guys around the sets a little bit. So obviously there is a lot that I am building because it's a whole city. Um, so we'll have a lot to unfold during this time period. Um, this is gonna be where a like kind of richy rich neighborhood is. Here is the school. These are train tracks. After that, I started making some townhomes. I thought slotted really nicely into the area. A lot of my inspiration for the architecture of the city was of course Tokyo, but also Sapporo. I wanted it to feel like you took those two cities, merged them together, and then sized them down to feel like a smaller, more cozy version of those cities. Let me know how you guys think I did in the comments below. I definitely got closer to my vision the longer I was building, but I do think the first couple builds are still pretty good. Next, I started blocking out a city block near the school as well as adding more roads. I also started outlining more houses that will be in the suburban area along with the houses I first built. Next, I wanted to tackle something a bit more out of my comfort zone, and so I started making a very rich and modern styled neighborhood. I don't build ultra modern builds very often, and when I do, I normally don't really like how they turn out because it's personally not really my style, but I actually really like how these houses are turning out so far. One thing you may have noticed is there is no day-night cycle in this world, and that is because I'm building in creative and while switching to day constantly can get pretty annoying. So what I did instead was I turned off the day-night cycle and I calculated how many days I had been building based on how many times Minecraft says I've logged out of the world. That number was 167, which means I spent approximately 167 days building in this world for hours and hours at a time. And so if we want to calculate that into Minecraft days, since every Minecraft day is about 20 minutes long and every time I got into the world I was building for like a minimum of four or five hours, I did some quick maths. Not really, it took me a long time to calculate this and I'm still not positive on my answer, but I did some math to figure out that I'd been building for 668 hours or 40,000 minutes roughly, which is insane. Then I figured out how many 20 minute cycles are in that 40,000 minutes, which came out to be 2,000 Minecraft days. Jesus Christ, I have a problem. I remember looking at my YouTube recommended, wondering, pondering even to myself, how in the world someone could do a 100 day Minecraft challenge or a 500 day Minecraft challenge, but here I am unknowingly participating in a 2,000 day Minecraft challenge. Oh geez. Anywho, next I started working on this cute little alleyway inspired by many Tokyo alleys with shops and restaurants tucked away within them. For those who are unaware, this map is for an MCTV series I make called Internet Crush. It's about a girl who's obsessed with the streamer and that said streamer moves next door to her and goes to the same school. It's sapphic, it's adorable, and yes, it's basically a Your Name Wattpad fanfic. Next thing I worked on was the school's gymnasium, and then I started terraforming a mountain in the distance of the city near the rich slash modern houses. I added some more houses to the regular suburbs as well. I have some clips from that stream that are pretty funny, so I thought I'd just throw them in here. For a giggle as well as for more context for what actually building this looked like. Enjoy. Hello everyone! Welcome to the stream. Okay, I'm updating chat on screen real quick. Also, 
Peep the fit, guys. This is today's fit. I have a tail. This is today's fit. It is a kikarumi of sprinkle from Kirkworld. Kind of turn around, eat your greens. When you fight, you fight, but you do be clean. Then you come to the bed and you love real dirty. Tomokichi taught me how to make my shaders look even better. And so you bet your fine ass. Your fine ass. I updated some of my shader settings. Just remembered I have a house in this world. You do! Oh wait, uh, yo! Wait, let's bring back that. Let's bring back the... I w okay, so when I first started blow up the village, oh, I have other plans. I have other plans for the village. Uh, when we first started building all of this, I would... I would name the houses. Okay, so this is the Astral Fay residence. Let's name some of these after you guys. Okay, who wants this little yellow house? I also need to, I just wanna build some more of these houses too, so we can build some based on your guys' aesthetics. But does anyone want this cute little yellow house? Going once, going twice. Nice. The wolf residence. Nice. Oh shit, I just realized I, I hit C, which is an emote. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Let's see what emotes I got. Ooh, yay! Woo! Woo! Clap, clap! Okay, let's go ahead and build a little asexual themed house. We can do an asexual themed house for sure. Asexual colors are purple and grays, right? I believe that's it. Can I get a shout out? I mean, I just say hello to everyone that joins stream. So hello, Champion Gaming. <laughs> I just kind of say hello to whoever's in chat while I can, because I know one day I might be too big to do that. So I try to take advantage of that while I can. So hello. <laughs> uh, black, gray, white, and purple. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we can do. Okay, so let me let me keep track of all these. So this will be local lesbians house. Do you want it to be? Um, do you want it to be? Uh, lesbian flag col colors? Yes, yes, me want. Okay, cool. Here, you want Here we go, wait. Wait one second, guys. There she is. <laughs> sleep or walk, sleep. Bless walkers. There we go. There we go. Okay, and I'll take more requests for houses in just a moment once I'm done building these. Okay, so first this is local lesbian. Colors are, are the lesbian flag colors. Let's go ahead and get the lesbian flag out so that I can use it as a reference. That'll be our color palette. We'll also have this and this. Look how much these houses stand out. It's beautiful, thank you, thank you. I'm so excited for the next episode. Oh, I forgot to show you guys my shaders, how I updated my shaders. Because I was talking like briefly at the beginning of the stream. I'm so excited to record my new shader update. New shader update just dropped. So let me show you something. Okay, so I used to not be able to do this, okay? See that over there? Okay, you see how I'm focused on that? Let's zoom in a little bit. See how that is in focus, right? But if I go here, Suddenly, the background's out of focus. Oh, but it's back in focus. Oh, but it's out of focus. And like, look how like precise it is. Ready? Okay, I'm focusing on that. Focus on that. Ooh, look at that. Focus on that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's such a small difference, but it makes me so happy. Oh my God, hi, Lady Mania. Welcome. Oh. Hello? What, what's up? What's up? Uh, so I I don't have Discord Nitro, so I can't I can't send the, the file on my Discord. How do I <laughs> I can give you my email if you'd like. You might be able to send it over email. <laughs> okay. I'll DM my email to you. <laughs> One second. Thank you. No problem. I love you. <laughs> I love you Trust the process is the definition of what I do when I make custom trees. Cause I just keep working at it until it looks half decent. Also like the purple flowers falling. 
cute. Skip. Skip. Ooh, wait, that's a good song. Turn this shit up. It's prayer time. What inspires your videos? I would love to know. <sighs> My brain. Honestly. And you guys. That's probably the biggest ones. This is the highway. We do need to continue the highway. And I also need to dispose of this village. I then made a brave yet stupid decision that I had to make, but you guys can decide if it was brave or stupid. I started another city. I needed another city for a specific arc in Internet Crush, and so I spent many hours building over there on live streams. I feel like it's missing something. I feel like there's something off. I think I just need to add some furniture to like the upstairs and stuff. There is that for those who wanted to see that. Okay, so that's that. Like the little table is you can read your books. I wanna make like a very like walkable, bikeable city, you know? I ended up going to sleep in that library. It looks too cozy. It's so cozy. Okay, we do need something that's not very pretty to put in, but is definitely necessity in this town, which is a parking garage, as well as we should probably add some parallel parking spots in front of like these townhouses. Just checking, what is it that you're building like right now? Or in the stream right now? Oh, I'm building a parking garage just so that I have some, uh, some parking spots that would be near the convention center. Cause I feel like that's more realistic. That's so cute. I love that. Yeah, I don't know. I have like ivy and stuff growing off of it. It's gonna be pretty cute. Aww. As cute as you can make a cement parking garage. <laughs> if you occasionally hear another voice, it's probably one of my friends or one of the voice actors in the series that is joining me just auditorily while I build stuff. This whole map was built solely by me, but I did have the company of others uh, on a call occasionally, on a Discord call. So if you hear random voices, that's what that is. Uh, the voice you just heard was Jam, AKA the voice actor for my mom in the show. Um, I've also had uh, Cyan, the voice actor for Kenji, the streamer that my character's obsessed with. We, I've, I've had a couple friends join me on these, especially when I was building Yutoshi City, the other city in this map, because it was just so time consuming building everything I needed for the episodes, because I needed a convention center as well as a massive hotel for one of the episodes. So, well, for multiple of the episodes. And so that's kind of what the city was for, is just for those two builds. And they were massive and very time consuming, as I already said. And so I enjoyed having company. Thank you guys for keeping me sane. <laughs> I spent days on this other city, streaming every single day for a whole week. Then I was finally able to get back to the main city. I added a couple plazas, some more houses, and a ramen shop. I also added fairgrounds with a cute fall festival on it because I needed it for a Halloween special. I then added gas stations, more train stations, and a park. I then kept expanding and added apartments, parking garages, and added faces to a lot of the shell buildings I had been adding around the map to fill it out. At this point, it was really starting to feel like a full city. Then I did the unimaginable. I added a brand new street, a main street, mind you, and started adding a few buildings to it, scared and realizing how big of an undertaking this whole new street would become, but... City really did start to feel lived in. And it was so satisfying to see it all slowly come together. I kept adding buildings to the main road we added, as well as new houses to the suburbs. I then finally started the farming side of town, adding a massive, beautiful farm owned by one of the families in Internet Crush. And there we have it, 
2,000 Minecraft days building an anime slash Japanese inspired city. I love how this city is coming along and genuinely think it'll be finished super soon, so subscribe to see when that happens. As I said, I live stream me building this city a lot, and so I'd love your company on those live streams. Click on the screen to see a full tour of this city. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!